Hey, this is David Waters, and I'm down here in downtown in Brampton, and uh, I'm here with a group of uh, individuals that seems to get bigger and bigger uh, day by day. So there's some issues uh, regarding a, a huge gravel uh, quarry. Actually, I shouldn't even say gravel. I should say quarry. It, things massive. And, uh, you know, a lot of people down in Toronto and the big city, they don't know what's going on. So I'm here to spread a little bit of message uh, to the folks of what's going on. And we have a lot of different... Uh, people at different ages uh, that are part of this walk to protest what the Highland Group is doing. I mean, it's, in my opinion, it's morally wrong. But I mean, everyone's got their own take. So let's see what, uh, what some other folks have to say here, okay? Okay, Dalen, how are you? I'm good. Good, so let me ask you, what's, uh, what's going on? What are, you, uh, what are you protesting and walking uh, for here? Uh, we're here to protest the limestone and gravel quarry in Wellington County. And we're here because this is a really huge quarry and they're taking the limestone out of the earth, which is going to affect the earth. And the dust from the limestone and stuff <laughs> is going to affect the, uh, like, I think five major rivers that uh, supply water to lots of southern Ontario. How does this make you feel? Oh, this is this is really pissing me off. This is making me this is not making me happy because this is gonna affect not only water for well, this is gonna affect water for lots of people, and it's gonna affect the air and the farmland that it's um being dug on. So yeah, this is not good. So what's your message to Ottawa? My message to Ottawa. Wow. I'd say think of the people. Think of what this is doing. Not, don't think of the, the money that you could get from this, because it's not about the money. Think of the negative impacts that this could have on the air and the water. Yeah, and stop the quarry. And how big is, how deep are they going? 200 feet below ground. So is this like Niagara Falls? Like this deep? Is, yeah, this is, this is really deep. Today, members of Canada's First Nations community and other concerned citizens are protesting a proposed mega quarry for the Niagara Escarpment, the Escarpment, an officially declared UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Essex City Jackie Rosen reports the five-day, 117-kilometer protest walk will travel from Toronto to Shelburne with the hope of stopping the project. Mark Talzavera with the Council of Canadians tells me the proposed 2,316-acre mega quarry would be 1.5 times deeper than Niagara Falls and a quarter the size of downtown Toronto. It's going to be the second largest quarry in North America if it's approved. It's the biggest quarry in Canada, and it's going to be a multi-billion dollar project. He says the main concern is for all the rivers and wells in the area, because the massive hole will require crews to pump 600 million liters of water per day. If you've got such a major engineering feat happening, it's going to screw up the headwaters of all these rivers. In addition, 3,000 loaded trucks per day would be traveling through the nearby town of Shelburne at all hours. The Highlands Company, owned by a head fund based in Boston is the face behind the project. The application was filed 40 days ago and there are only five days left for people to comment on the proposal before it's too late. Jackie Rosen, 680 News. If the project's approved, it would be the second largest quarry in North America. Regional organizer with the Council of Canadians, Mark Calzavera, tells me the local community is dead set against a proposed 2,316-acre mega quarry, which would be a quarter the size of downtown Toronto. What's going to happen to their way of life? We're talking about 3,000 loaded trucks a day going through their community 24 hours a day. Like every 35 seconds is what the proponent is wanting to do. Calzavera says the massive hole will require 600 million liters of water to be pumped out each day. The concern is for the, all the wells in the area, all the headwaters of the rivers as well, the Grand River, the Pine River, the Nottawasaga River all start in the area. The U.S. hedge fund backed quarry would sit right on the edge of the Niagara Escarpment, which is an officially declared UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. The 117-kilometer walk will continue through to Tuesday. Jackie Rosen, 680 News.